very first healthy cooking show. Ooh. Okay, so today we're gonna be meal prepping stuffed chicken. This is probably like one of the easiest recipes and one of my go-tos, especially if you're in a hurry, you don't like taking forever to meal prep. This is the recipe for you. And we're gonna add some sides in there, make it a full meal, so get ready. So what you're gonna need for this recipe is chicken breast, full thick cut chicken breast so you can stuff it. I bought this from Trader Joe's. It's already chopped, but it's onions, it's carrots, and celery in this little bowl. I have goat cheese, and you can use any other cheese if you don't like goat cheese, go ahead and sub it out. And then we also have classic pesto. And then for our seasonings, I have thyme, garlic salt, pepper, and then I have regular Himalayan Salt. That's what you're gonna need for this recipe. I also am gonna make these Cheeto peppers stuffed with goat cheese on the side, and we're gonna make some sweet potato fries as well, which I'll put in the air fryer later. So let's get started. One of these days, maybe I'll have someone able to help me and get some different angles of the food, but for this time, it's just gonna be me filming this on my own. So hopefully, you guys don't mind. But I'm gonna go ahead and wash these chicken fries. This is honestly my least favorite part. Okay, so this is like the most self explanatory recipe ever, but I'm gonna show you anyways. First thing we're gonna do is preheat the oven to 400 degrees. So we get that ready. While that's heating up, let's go ahead and and get started. This is the quickest meal prep ever, which is why it's like one of my go-to recipes. So we slice the chicken breast in half, like so. Let's do the other one over here. I honestly am not one to meal prep all the time. Like I, thank God, I'm able to come home for dinner and I'm able to eat breakfast at home. So usually if I meal prep, it's like just a small lunch type thing. And then I'll cook breakfast and dinner at home. And then like for snacks, it's just pretty simple stuff that I don't need to cook. So it makes it easy. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is spread around. I think pesto stays good for a while, let's hope. The first thing I'm gonna do is spread around the pesto and put that in the middle. So if you don't like pesto, honestly, you could use like roasted red peppers in olive oil maybe. Something to give it like some filling. So you could do that. I mean, there's a lot of options for stuffed chicken, but I really, the pesto and goat cheese combination, oof, 10 out of 10. I haven't tried it honestly with the celery, carrots, and onions before, but we're gonna try it out. So we just spread that inside. Then the next thing we're gonna do is stuff the onions inside with the carrots and celery. Literally like stuffing, which is amazing on Thanksgiving. I think a lot of people don't like stuffing. I personally think it's great, but you gotta have the gravy on top or else it's very dry, so. But I do like the taste of it. I think people are just like not into it, but I don't know. I think I'm a fan for now at least. We got that inside. The next thing is going to be goat cheese or you can use mozzarella cheese, you can use feta. Feta cheese, so another combination I like is roasted red peppers, pesto, and feta cheese. That's a really good one. So there's just different variations. Okay, goat cheese, that's fine. And then all you do after you make a mess is we're gonna fold it over. I like to put it in the baking dish first. So put it there, make sure it doesn't fall out. And then once it's on the baking dish, that's when we'll go ahead and add our seasonings. I'm getting to the point where I can start making maybe more like fancy dishes or things that take a long time. But honestly, I'm just being real. I think we just don't have time for it. Like it looks cool. It's like you save it and you're like, I'll make this one day. The one day never comes. It's like, who has time to make like this 90 minute meal? It's just not realistic. So I'm here to give you some realistic meals that we can make all day, every day. Okay, so we're gonna season it with garlic salt first. My cat is jumping on the countertops to steal my chicken breast again. The other day I was taking a shower and I had just cooked this like marvelous chicken meal with like vegetables and all this stuff, sweet potato fries, everything. And I came down from taking a shower. My cat is usually in her own little world. I came down, the chicken breasts were on the floor. She stole them and she was on the floor like eating it. Now I have no food. I'm like, am I supposed to eat your cat food now? Cause like, what do I do? So that was not fun. From now on, she's gonna be locked away until after I'm done eating or else she steals all my food. I don't understand. She's gonna throw me in the guts. Okay, so after that, and the peppers are not gonna take as long, but we're gonna cut the tips off. Actually, we're not gonna really need to cut the tips off. Slice it a little bit in half. I'm just gonna lay it on the pan for now. So slice it in half. This is like the laziest way of doing it. You can de seed them if you want. I really don't even care right now. Okay, so all I'm doing with the peppers is I'm just cutting the top off, and then we're just putting it in the pan. So we're gonna need to check the peppers first because they're gonna be done sooner. Um, 
but we can just keep them the same. And then I'm gonna cook, I brought sweet potato fries from Trader Joe's. You can make your own, but again, today is one of those quick meal days, so I'm just gonna use the Trader Joe's version of it. I, I really like Trader Joe's. Whole Foods is great too, but going into Whole Foods and actually shopping, I'm like, this just takes too long. Like the store is just too big. Trader Joe's, the fact that it's like tiny, I think that's why it does so well, to be honest with you. It's so tiny, you know exactly where everything is, you can run in, run out, get what you need, piece it. Whole Foods, it's like, you gotta plan your day for Whole Foods. It's like, it, it's just an ordeal. It takes so long. You go down each aisle, you get trapped. You're like, there's so many things. There's so many organic foods and raw that is fermented, whatever. And you just like want to buy it all. But half the time you're like, what even is this? Like, do I need to be eating this? Is this good for me? Or should I just keep walking? So Whole Foods, I get stuck for at least an hour. And getting into the freaking parking lot, I don't know about you guys, that parking lot is like mall. It's like mall parking at Whole Foods. I'm like, I can't do this anymore. So Trader Joe's it is. So that's where I get my stuff now. We prepped this out. Looks like this. Very simple, very standard. We're putting salt on the peppers. Salt, pepper, and olive oil. So hold on. I almost forgot this. Important part. A little bit of olive oil. I'm not gonna, uh, maybe I'll put it a little bit on the chicken. Like a tiny bit on top. I usually don't just cause it doesn't really need it to be honest, but I add it a little bit. So olive oil, seasonings. Let's put it in on the top shelf. Bake. Go. And then timer, time, 25 minutes. Okay, there we go. All right, on the side, we have sweet potato fries. So I really like these, even though there are healthier options out there. But again, Trader Joe's is what they got. And we're just having a little bit on the side to make it more of a full meal. If you want to do a regular sweet potato or make your own sweet potato fries, highly recommend. We'll do that maybe for another video. But today we're going to make it very simple, very easy. Putting it in the air fryer for. I love how I have a knife and I still decide to bite this with my teeth. Struggle. But <laughs> we're gonna put it in the air fryer, actually. Okay, so I actually found out about these little liners for the air fryer, so we put it in. Because air fryers are impossible to clean. They're so difficult. So I found these liners where you don't really need to wash it as much. Like, obviously you still rinse it out, but it's not bad. Okay, so we, that's probably good. Sweet potato fries, and then we put it in here. So the thing I like about my air fryer is it has a fry button. So you press the first button, it comes out perfect. It has a chicken button and fish and all this stuff, and it's like amazing. So we're gonna do that. And then I have to keep checking it because we don't want them to get burned or too dry. And now this is almost done. The peppers look like they're done, but I think I'm just gonna leave it. There's eight minutes left, so let's see how it tastes. Okay, so this is the finished meal. I will show you guys what it looks like up close, but I have the sweet potato fries on the side. This is just like one serving of them because that's really all I need right now. I'm gonna go to the gym soon. And then we have the chicken, the peppers, which look perfect. And then I'll put some arugula on the side with some of this Trader Joe's dill dressing, which is bomb. I, every Trader Joe's dressing there is, it's just insane. They actually do taste us, which I learned not too long ago, that the employees taste everything before they put it out there, which I think is really cool, actually. I wish like that was a thing where, what, like I wish every day I could just taste test food, that would be a dream. But <laughs> this is gonna be the meal. I'm really excited to eat it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this short and sweet recipe. Let me know if you guys to see more, maybe more gourmet longer things or maybe tacos next time. That sounds like a good idea. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel for more follow along workouts and recipes every single week and I will see you guys next time.